In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to be more productive. Perspective plans with new videos and podcasts weekly. Join our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash perspective plans for exclusive videos and more. Visit perspectiveplans.com for all of your planner and stationary needs. Only at Perspective Plans, helping you plan for what's to come. Hello everyone, I'm Christina B. Rising and welcome to the Perspective Plan Show, where I cover planner and productivity tips to help you plan for what's to come. Subscribe now for new podcasts and videos weekly so that you won't miss anything. Shop for workbooks and printables and stickers at PerspectivePlans.com. And last but not least, this episode would not be possible without the support of our Perspective Plans patrons and channel members. Thank you. Now let's get into this episode. In this episode, I will be discussing time-saving productivity tips that you can use to optimize your daily routine and get more done in less time. Time management is a critical skill that everyone should have to succeed in their personal and professional lives. So let's do a deep, a deep dive in our tips. If you have tried bullet journaling, time blocking, or just plain old to-do lists, but haven't found the right solution to manage your time, then it's time to try out the Hourly Planner Bundle. This is the ultimate planner with everything you need to manage your schedule and get things done today. Featuring 300 plus planner pages with and without sidebars, 100 plus event and holiday labels, and over 2000 plus planner stickers in 14 unique colors. All this and more can be found in our hourly planner bundle, available in two amazing color options at perspectiveplans.com. Helping you plan for what's to come. Tip one, take breaks and practice self-care. While it may seem a tad bit contradictory to productivity, to take pauses and take care of oneself, doing so is crucial for maintaining attention and energy. Work overload, lower productivity, and even physical and mental health issues can result from working long hours without breaks. You may refuel by taking pauses and return to your task with fresh concentration and even enthusiasm. To relieve stress and enhance your general well-being, engage in self-care practices like exercise, meditation, or even family time. You'll be better able to complete your responsibilities and reach your objectives when you take care of yourself. The key is not to prioritize what's on your schedule, but to schedule your priorities, Stephen Covey. Tip 2. Learn to say no. Saying no may be a very effective productivity strategy. Individually, we frequently feel the need to accept all that is offered to us. Whether it's a request or even a favor, an invitation to a social event, or a business request. Answering yes may seem like the simpler and more appropriate response. Saying yes to everything, however, might result in overload and burnout, which will ultimately reduce your productivity. You may prioritize your time and concentrate on the activities that are most essential by learning to say no. It's critical to keep in mind that being able to say no is a sign of strength and self-awareness rather than weakness. You may maintain concentration and keep yourself from being distracted by saying no to projects or obligations that don't fit with your objectives or ideals. It's crucial to express your reasons for declining in a straightforward and honest manner when learning to say no. Be kind and considerate, yet adamant in your choice. Never forget that sometimes it's acceptable to say no. What gets measured gets managed. Peter Drucker. Tip 3. Use the Pomodoro technique and I will be releasing an updated version of my Pomodoro video and you can watch the old one down below. Francesco Cirillo created the Pomodoro Method as a time management technique in the late 1980s. The method is dividing your workday into Pomodoro sessions of 25 minutes each, which with brief rest in between. The, pom the Pomodoro Method is based on the notion that by working in small bursts, you can retain attention and prevent burnout. You may refuel and maintain motivation by taking little pauses in between each Pomodoro session. All you need for the Pomodoro Method is a timer. A real timer, a timer app, or even a browser add-on like the Tomato Timer are all really great options. Start by setting a timer for only 25 minutes, during which you should work on your assignment. You should take a 5-minute pause once the timer sounds. Follow this procedure for 4 Pomodoro straight, then pause for a longer period of time between 15 and 30 minutes. Work gives you meaning and purpose and life is empty without it. Stephen Hawking. Tip 4. Take regular breaks. Taking breaks frequently is crucial for productivity. You are more prone to feel burnout and mental tiredness if you labor nonstop for extended periods of time. According to research, taking brief breaks throughout the day helps keep you focused and prevent burnout. For instance, every hour or so, you may take a 10 to 15 minute break to stretch your legs, get some fresh air, or do anything else you want. Taking pauses might also help you come up with fresh concepts and problem-solving strategies. By taking a break from your task, you give your brain a time to relax and recover, which may enable you to approach it from a different angle when you resume it. Work like there is someone working 24 hours a day to take it all away from you, Mark Cuban. 
Tip five, use technology to your advantage if utilized properly. Technology may be a potent tool for increasing your productivity. You can remain organized, manage your time, and simplify your workflow by using a variety of applications and tools around you. You may save time and be more productive by making good use of technology. For instance, project management tools may help you keep track of projects and due dates, and time tracking applications can show you how much time you are spending on various activities. You may use digital calendars to plan your day and create reminders for significant events or activities. You may connect with your team members and manage projects using collaboration platforms like Slack or Microsoft. Microsoft Teams. To prevent being distracted by technology, it's crucial to utilize it carefully. Establish boundaries for your use of technology and try to avoid using it as a means of putting things off. Make use of technology to increase, not decrease, your productivity. Also, it's incredibly crucial to pick the appropriate tools for your purpose. Choosing the best app or program might be difficult due to the abundance of possibilities. Spend some time investigating and testing out various tools to see which ones are most effective for you and your workflow. You can't have a million dollar dream with a minimum wage work ethic. Stephen Hogan. Tip six, eliminate distractions. Avoiding distractions as much as you can is vital since they may be a significant time waster. For many people, using their phone or computer is one of the biggest distractions that they have around them. Your work may be interrupted by notifications from social media, email, and chat applications, which can be tough to concentrate on. You may disable notifications on your computer and your phone as well, as employ distraction blocking programs to get rid of those kinds of distractions. The Focus app, for instance, allows you to restrict particular websites or applications at particular times of the day. Making a specific workspace free from distractions like noise or clutter is another method to get rid of them. Make sure you have a calm, clutter-free workspace where you can concentrate on your job if you work from home. You don't need more time in your day. You need to decide. Seth Godin. Tip 7. Delegate tasks. Time may be saved and productivity can be increased by delegating responsibilities. Consider assigning chores that can be done by someone else if you have any that need to be handled. This can free up your time so that you can concentrate on more crucial chores or just take a well-needed break. The long-term development of your team's talents may be facilitated through delegation, which will ultimately be to everyone's advantage. If you are a manager, for instance, you may assign work to your team members depending on their skills and preferences. Fall in love with the process and the results will come. Eric Thomas. Tip 8. Plan your day the night before. An excellent approach to save time and get more done is to plan your day the night before. Make a to-do list or establish priorities for the following day, just before you go to sleep. You may save time in the morning by making a plan in advance and not waste it trying to figure out what to do first. Also, it may make you feel more concentrated and organized. Making a strategy for your day the night before will help you succeed. Setting priorities and making a to-do list can help give yourself a clear direction for the day. As a result, you won't feel anxious or overburdened since you have a clear plan of action. To-do lists can be made using a planner like the ones we sell at PerspectivePlans.com, which I'll link down below, a bullet journal, or a computer program like Trello. Be sure to prioritize your chores according to their significance and urgency after breaking them down into smaller, doable tasks. By doing so, you may be able to do the most crucial chores first and stay out of the way of the less crucial ones. Check out our hourly to-do list planner and our budget planner available right now at PerspectivePlans.com. Use our code PLAN20 to save on a planner that will help you plan out your life. You were born to win, but to be a winner, you must plan to win, prepare to win, and expect to win. Zig Ziglar. Tip 9. Break. Tip 9. Break tasks into smaller chunks. Overwhelming jobs or projects can cause procrastination and diminish productivity. It might be easier to keep focused when activities are broken down into small and more manageable portions. Using the Pomodoro method is one approach to divide activities into manageable halves. With this method, you would divide your work into 25 minute segments and take brief breaks or pauses in between. Take a longer pause after four Pomodoro sessions. You can prevent burnout and maintain attention by using this technique. Your mind is for having ideas, not holding them. David Allen. Tip 10. Prioritize your most important tasks. Not every assignment is made equally. The importance or urgency of certain jobs is greater than others. You may focus on what matters most and cut down on time wasted on less important chores by giving your most critical tasks the highest priority. The Eisenhower Matrix is one tool you might use to organize your duties. Your jobs will be divided into four quadrants using this matrix. Urgent and most important. Urgent and important. Important but not urgent urgent but important, and neither urgent or important. Prioritize the task in the quadrant with the highest urgency and importance first, and then proceed to the others as time permits. Effective performance is preceded by painstaking preparation. Brian Tracy. 
no bonus tip today, but check out the Patreon for this month's bonus video. So these were the 10 productivity ideas that can help you save time and you can use them right away. Keep in mind that effective time management is a crucial skill that may help you realize your full potential and fulfill your goals. You may save time, lessen stress, and enhance your productivity by using these suggestions. Start by doing what's necessary, then what's possible, and suddenly you are doing the impossible. Francis, Francis of Assisi. Create a budget that works for you and track your debt, monthly bills, savings, expenses, cash envelopes, sinking funds, savings challenges, and more. This budget planner is perfect to take control of your finances, even if you are a beginner and just started your financial journey. Featuring 200 plus planner pages with and without sidebars, over 1,500 planner stickers in 14 unique colors, and 50 plus quote layering stickers that allow you to customize the background to match your planner style. All this and more can be found in the budget planner bundle. Available in two amazing color options at PerspectivePlans.com. Share this awesome episode with someone you know who needs it to help them plan for what's to come. And don't forget to like and subscribe. I hate for you to miss the next episode. Now let's get into our recap. So let's do a quick recap just in case you missed a tip on our list. Tip one, take breaks and practice self-care. Tip two, learn to say no. Tip three, use the Pomodoro technique. Tip four, take regular breaks. Tip five, use technology to your advantage. Tip six, eliminate distractions. Tip seven, delegate tasks. Tip eight, plan your day the night before. Tip nine, break tasks into smaller chunks. Tip 10, prioritize your most important tasks. Don't expect to find everything you're doing right. The truth often hurts. The goal is to find your inefficiencies in order to eliminate them and to find your strengths so you can multiply them. Tim Ferriss. I just want to take a moment to thank our patrons and channel members. This episode would not be possible without your support. Thank you. And if you would like to support the show, visit patreon.com forward slash perspective plans today. Thank you so much for stopping by and pressing play. I truly appreciate it. Let me know down below in the comments or your podcast review what tip you'll be using. Keep planning for what's to come, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.